Good evening, everybody. I told him all of that is trivia. <laughs> you don't need to hear it this late in the evening. Um, I know my, my story is not quite as glamorous as Ian's, and um, I cook chicken for a living at this point of my life. I've been, I've been in the kitchen for most of my working years. I taught for a little while. I was marketing mutual funds in Canada, but I've been in the kitchen for a little while. And um, let me all welcome you to the school of hard knocks. <laughs> Right? I, I feel sometimes as if I'm swimming upstream and I'm not a champion swimmer like my grandchildren, Annabella and Matthew. They're, they're national swimmers for Jamaica. So for me to stay afloat, I need you all in this hard, tough economy to support Island Grill. And that's my plug. <laughs> that's my plug for today. No more. <laughs> And you know, they asked me to, f to speak on five different topics, but everyone has been covered. So, I mean, the only thing I can say about obtaining financing, I mean, John said it, good companies can always find capital. And Ian said it, even at the age of 12, when my kids were in boarding school. So if you have exhausted all those great things, those great innovative ways of financing from DBJ or um, Exim Bank, or if you've come to NCB and we haven't quite given you your loan, my husband wouldn't sign my for first loan. He says, it's not my business. I'm not guaranteeing your loan. So I went to my father and my children, when they were in boarding school, and actually Craig was 11, Eon, so he beat you. Craig was 11 and, and Mike was 12. And they saw how I always used to be bringing things from the wholesalers in Florida to support my first business, so they borrowed my membership card and they went there and at boarding school they were s selling things like small packages of soap powder and, uh, y you know, candy and, you know, just things that it was uh, difficult for students to leave and buy. So that's financing. The second thing is um, being a successful woman in a business, is it a man's world? Not really. You know, I, 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 there's no different being, in, being a woman. No, let me take that back because I look a lot different from my friend Ian. The, women face the same challenges that men, I've been in, that men face. I've been in business for 40 years, so I do feel that things have changed. It's now 2013. So any woman or young lady who says they, they have har a harder time than a man, I think they're being a little bit disingenuous. I, I don't think that's true because I think women have so much poise and energy and are so positive. There's no way a bank is going to turn you down or a DBJ or an Exim bank, right? I mean, I, I think I can hold my own amongst the men after 40 years. I mean, it's take me that long, but you have an advantage because Women, women network now. You have sisters out there who have powerful organizations here in Jamaica and internationally. Network, right? That will help you. It's not any tougher out there for a woman. So that was the second thing. And I'm going through very quickly because I know time is against us. There, there's asked, there, I was asked to speak about managing HR problems. And it's people. Right? We use, I have a great HR manager, I have a great team. If you have a great team, you won't have the problems. John talked about, you know, giving everybody a say. Well, you, I mean, it's, it's, you, you can be dogmatic, but on the other hand, if people feel that they have a say, it makes a difference. We use Harvard's balance scorecard, and the only reason I'm showing it to you and I don't have it up on the screen is because the bottom, we work from the bottom up, and the bottom tier is learning and growth. And what that means is we concentrate on our people. And the biggest bubble here that we aim at, let me explain, the black balance scorecard is really just a strategy tool to set your initiatives and measure your success to see how well you're doing. So we set our own initiatives and there are five initiatives to do with people. And one of the ones that we have here, we have a cool island oasis where our team feels special and learning and success are celebrated. 
Now, the way we measure that is by internal surveys. We're always asking our staff, how do you feel? Are, do you feel respected? Do, are you happy in your job? Those kinds of questions. And then we are three values at Island Grill that we try to live would be integrity. And if you don't have integrity, you can't have fun. And then the third one is family. So that's how we try to live. Now, I, I know it's, it sounds easier than said, but really and truly, it does work. Um, we, we try to always be giving a voice to our people. We try to always upgrade them. Now, if you think in terms of my managers, some of them, most of them don't have a tertiary education. Most of them just have barely a high school education. And they've learned how to use a computer. They've learned how they produce their own scorecard every month. And how the scorecard works is they can see very quickly whether they have achieved their targets, which would then be green, or whether it's still amber, or whether it's red. And you're, there are a lot of reds there, and we are never perfect, but that's, that's how we try to do it, so that they, they really feel th that they're accomplishing as they go along. All right, I hope I'm not going too fast. But the fourth thing I was asked to talk about is utilizing innovative ideas to solve problems. Now, one of, one of the ideas that came, we have each restaurant, each department gives us 10 ideas per month. It's a lot of ideas to go through. They then vote on three, and that comes into the idea bank. We then award 10 ideas every month. One of the ideas that came from, from one of the stores is that we have a super pot of love. And that super pot of love is where our staff gets involved in the community and goes out every month. And whether it's a children's home or an old people's home or just a family, we do it every month. So that was an idea that was awarded. My daughter-in-law is American. So when one of the staff said to her, we have to have file fish Friday, she said, file fish Friday. No, what is file fish Friday? And I bet you don't quite get it either. Foil, you got it. <laughs> he wanted File Fish Friday during Lent. And we, we took the idea. I mean, he felt so good. that. And this is somebody in maintenance who came up with this idea. And he felt so good that he could have come up with an idea that has reached on the menu of Island Grill. And that this was all his just coming up with a suggestion. And another one, very simple, and we just didn't think of it. The red peas was, red rice and peas was giving us a hard time. And one of the staff said, Mrs. Lynn, you just need to change the quality of the peas. The peas are awful. And we changed the quality of the peas. And the rice and peas is outselling the other two rices. No. So it's, it's, that's part of ideas and getting staff involved. And then I was asked, how do you monitor the quality of your products? And you notice, I'm not saying anything that John probably hasn't said. I'm just getting down to the basics of it and giving you examples of what we have had to do. So the operations department is the one, is a department that monitors the, the quality of the products. And we have QSC inspections every day, quality service cleanliness, and the shift managers do that and the district managers do that. We listen to our mystery shoppers and we, whatever they tell us, we try to correct. We get customer comments and we get up to 40,000 customer comments per year, which is high for a QSR business. It's entered into a database. It's measured on the, on the balance scorecard. So, you know, we know um, how we're doing with quality. And we also monitor Facebook very carefully. And I want to see all new fans on Facebook this evening when I go home. We have over 160 fans on Facebook. My daughter-in-law, there again, manages that page. And she particularly looks for quality. So the minute there is a comment on quality that is below standard, she acts on it right away.